And let's go back uh, to Rivoli, where SABC News reporter Sina Gore is standing by. And this is following days of protest by community members after five people were killed over the weekend. It is believed that these were people who were part of the rival Zamazama gangs in the area. Hasina Gore is standing by. Good morning once again. Hasina, I was asking a bit earlier on, do we know whether or not the police have been able to track down these so-called Zamazamas? Good morning, Algen. I seem to be struggling to hear you uh, properly, but the last time we spoke, we were inside the Zamimpilo informal settlement where we saw police raiding some of those informal settlement shacks, which many of them seem to have been empty, but full of equipment, which seemed to be from the illegal mining activities. Uh, what we know from the police is that they're hoping uh, to destroy or disrupt uh, the uh, activities that are happening here and, and maybe stop the production of the gold that's happening uh, in this area. I want to bring in the council of uh, the Ward 86, uh, who's here with us. Uh, thank you so much, uh, sir, um, for uh, speaking to us um, this morning. You, as the councillor here, what has been the situation like for many of the residents that live here um, in this area when it comes to, uh, you know, this informal settlement and, and the safety around, um, you know, your community? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Msimele Lolobi, the Ward Council of Ward 68. Uh, once again, you know, uh, I've been saying that uh, these uh, residents are living in fear each and every day. So the, our, our, our plan for them to be safe, we need army 24-7. We need army. It must be a state of emergency whereby army come here and then they, they make sure that they barricade this, uh, uh, this area. And then human settlement must take the people to the houses because there are people who are qualifying who've been in the database for, 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 for them to be allocated with RTP houses. So human settlement must come in. Home affairs must come and take the, the untreatmented foreigners. So it must be a joint operation. Everyone must take part for this to be to have a solution. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can you tell us uh, what is the... Um, uh, uh, people that live here, what is the, the percentages of uh, local South Africans as well as those that are undocumented according to your data that you have? Okay, 80% 80, 80 is foreigners, 20% it's, it's South Africans. As you can see how huge is this uh, informal settlement, you will find only South Africans here, there are less than 500. Uh, like, like, so there are not many, it's not that, that, that much when we did our database. And if you can see, some of the shakes, they are marked uh, white, uh, red, and, and, and all of that. It was our initiative to say, if you moved to Flare Off, that was the project for this, if you move to Flare Off, do not come back and rent out those people, those, those illegal miners. So there are people who are at Flare Off, but they are renting out their shakes. Their shakes were not demolished. Of which this thing was not there when we were when uh, there was a strong committee that was dealing with if you are taken to flare off your shack need to be demolished so we have a lot of empty shacks that the M the mmc of safety promised to come and uh, and and deal with them but we did mark them uh, and, and 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 all of that and one of the of the problems is that this informal settlement is not only the informal settlement that new canada Crown mines is the very same thing of illegal mining. So those ones of New Canada, they move to this site, as you can see on those escalating videos, that they, 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 they are very much dangerous at, 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 at New Canada. They say they are not scared of police. So if they are not scared of, of police, where, where am I? Me and you, you see. What is it like for uh, the community members that live in this area um, and, and amongst uh, these illegal mining activities that take place? Okay, you know, uh, uh, somewhere, somehow, there, there are some residents that are saying, no, we don't want these people. But there are some residents who are saying, no, we can live with them. Because we had several meetings with the community to say, what do we do? Because as a community, you need, we need to work together. Because as a ward council, I'm a link between the city and the community. But if you're not working with me, then what, what, what can we say? So to, to, to point a finger and say, city of Johannesburg, we're standing here. We want you to do something. Give us information. Uh, stand with us. Let's deal with the matter together. Yes. This seems to be an ongoing issue, not just, as you said, in this one informal settlement mm. or even community of illegal mining and, and the illicit activities that come with it. What needs to be done? As you say, communities need to work together. What else needs to be done to ensure that we don't see these um, 
illegal mining communities mushrooming yes. in various other communities? Okay. I think subs, uh, subs from the upper ranks, they need to, to declare a certain unit on, on SAP that is going to deal with illegal mining. So that unit, it must be resourced. Because what, what, what you can see, what you saw here live on TV, whereby the, the criminals that they got, they, they, they escaped. So you can see that uh, we, we have that lack of the national security. So if we can have a certain unit from SARS that is dealing and is, is resourced to deal with these uh, illegal miners. And as well, if uh, you, uh, soldiers, a South African Defense Force, they can say, like what they did at the Cape Flats, if they can come in and say, no, we need to intervene, this is a state of emergency, this is terrorism, because they are saying we are not scared of South African police, that is a, that is a state security. So if, if, if those people are saying that, why can't you say this is terrorism and then deal with them like that? Last year when we saw a similar incidents in uh, the West Strand, the police minister at that time said that there was operations being done, not just um, in Gauteng, but in other provinces. You feel that that is not enough that's being done and that units are not uh, enough? Yes, they are, they, are, they are totally not enough. They are totally not enough in such that you will, you will have a time whereby you don't believe in, the, in, in our SAPS. Because, like for instance now, we are here with a major operation, but immediately when we leave, these guys they are doing as usual. So the community is always living in fear. That's why we say we need a 24-7 security like it was before. But then uh, Mayor Herman Mashaba said, no, this is, is going to be taken over by the city. They don't want the, uh, the red end, those security here. So if it was barricaded like that, we, couldn't, we were not going to have this situation uh, today. So if we can have that 24-7 now and then, and police, Lang Lang Police Station, I can tell you, they're under-resourced. They cannot deal with this. These people are heavily armed heavily heavily armed they are not resourced to deal with this so that's why we need the intervention of the task team that is going to specifically deal with this uh, issue from pennyville crown mine all over south africa so that we can deal with this issue thank you thank you so much that was the councillor of ward 86 speaking to us here just outside some impilo informal settlement where um from this weekend we've seen tensions rising we saw the roads being closed off the residents here saying they're frustrated over the lack of um assistance from government uh, from police you know, you heard from uh, the uh, ward councillor just saying that there needs to be more interventions uh, when it comes to uh, dealing uh, with the criminality that comes with the illicit and illegal money that happens, just not here in uh, this specific area, but also in various other communities across Gauteng. But I want to see if I can bring in uh, someone from the mining community. But let's just look at uh, some of the um, stuff that were found um, in here. Um, it's not, it's not what, what is this that has been found, this dust? It's now gold. It should to be banned now. You, you are yeah. Hi. So um, can you just describe to us what exactly are we seeing here, Charles? Okay. Uh, as you could see earlier on, you, you saw a bucket with the muddy substance water in. Yes. Okay, that was in the refining process. Mm -hmm. Okay, after the refining process, this is what you find. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to add to this is mercury. Okay. Okay, mercury, what mercury does is mercury pulls the gold out of all the chemicals and the metals that are in this sand buckets okay? okay okay now the question needs to be asked is mercury is very expensive mercury is highly poisonous mm -hmm. okay so where do these guys get the mercury from right, right? Uh, we've been told that the mercury comes out of Azadville okay because mercury can only be purchased over the counter right and you have to buy it from a chemist okay. this is the only way you can obtain mercury Right? And you have a license, you have to have a license to sell mercury. Okay, so this gets, uh, I, th I think this is the final process. Yeah. This is the final the process. process. Yeah. As you can see the glittering. Yeah, you can see right? the glittering. Can you see the glittering? The glitter shimmers in them. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah. The glittering, right? So what's going to happen is this, they will add water to this. Okay. They will add water to this and get it into a muddy form. Okay, after the muddy form they will add it, it, uh, it depends how many mercury you have, okay. right? So after the muddy form, then once they add the mercury, the mercury will extract all that glittering that you see in my hand. Yes. Okay. And, and um, the final process will be the gold that will then be and, sold onto the market. Right, and then, and then you have to extract the mercury from the gold again. Okay. So this is a lengthy process that seems to be arduous as well. So 
the illegal mining process that we see, it's not just the extraction from those shafts that you know, are underground, but also a lengthy um, external process. So is, that, is it a heavily funded system? Well, illegal and legal mining is a confusing thing going on in our community. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a mining site, okay, which is subcontracted. They, it's red top, they are subcontracting from TRD. Okay, they are legally there on that mining site. But on that same site you find illegal miners as well. Okay, so what is legal mining and what is illegal mining? Okay, that's a question need to be asked to these mining companies. TRD ago can answer that question for you guys, you understand? Are our mining sites supposed to be enclosed? Okay, while mining or rehabilitation is taking place, it's supposed to be enclosed. The necessary signage is supposed to be up there. You know, these areas need to be secured. Right? They are not. Okay? So what the mining companies are doing, they are allowing the Zamas on their premises so that trucks and their trucks and everything are safe. So what uh, they are saving on a budget of security, fencing the place off, you understand? And what these Zamas, Zamas are doing, right? Are they working together? Who's buying the gold from them? Is it the mining companies? Mm -hmm. um, is it other companies buying the gold? You understand? But uh, we know everything valuable out of Africa goes to Britain because why the British pound pays more everybody wanna I would wanna I, I, I would wanna sell my gold for American dollars I would go for the British pound because it's more value as a community or as the mining forum what needs to be done to um, kind of regulate this mining uh, sector uh, to ensure as you're saying it's a very confusing illegal and legal mining uh, system at the moment uh, what needs to be done well First of all, all departments need to come together as one, okay? And including the mining companies, okay? Including DMRE, uh, the water, the, the, the um, um, water and sanitation department, you understand? All these guys should, should come together, right? And come with the solutions because why everybody is out for his own little... Um, pot of gold let me put it that way okay so um, yes this is this is this is a serious problem that actually uh, uh, has to be addressed by government and all its departments including um, mining companies right including buyers and sellers and um, the community does not benefit at all you know Africa is rich in minerals but the community of Africa does not benefit nothing. Our employment rate is through the roof. You understand? You see all the sand you see around you here, right? Uh, there's a lot of chemicals still alive in these sands. You understand? Harmful chemicals. Okay? Um, there's a high level of uranium active in the air, what we're breathing in. Okay? You get silica in this um, in the soil, right? You get uranium. Okay, you get your 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 your, your metals, right? Um, cyanide. You know, there's a lot we can mention regarding chemicals, and um, you understand. Uh, we are the mining forum, and we 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 our actual backbone is the Benchmarks Foundation. Okay, uh, we di we work directly with Mr. David Kwanbeik. He's the lead researcher for Back Benchmarks Foundation. This is our chairman from the Rivoli Mining Forum, Mr. Mark Kater. Okay, so we we work directly with Benchmarks Foundation. What Benchmarks normally does, you understand, what they actually do is they they test air quality. You know, we test um, and we we normally we normally are, um, involved in these operations of um, collecting soil samples, um, water samples, uh, uh, testing air quality, you understand? Uh, we even went as far as to test little girls here, you understand, for uh, uranium in the air, you understand, because why we cannot test the adults here because it's been contaminated, you know, ladies dye their hair colors and stuff, you understand, so your roots are contaminated already, you understand? Um, UJ, um, that's um, University of Johannesburg comes out many a time, okay, to our communities to do uh, air quality testing and 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 um, different departments do their own uh, 
I want to just stop you for a moment and, and I think um, let's walk towards these uh, a group of uh, the police officers. It seems that they have uh, now found one of those that is believed to have been uh, one of the Azama Zamas um, that they're hoping is going to take them into uh, you know the area and give them more information. Let's see if we can follow them as they go into uh, the uh, community uh, here in Zamimpilo. The visuals you're seeing are from Zamimpilo, informal settlement where um, we have been with the police uh, on a raid. They've just um, found one of us. We'll give them more insight into the operations. Oh, don't get pen. Don't get pen. Oh. It's hot here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go. Sorry. This seems to be one of the shacks where he has been uh, staying in. The one doing this One of the work actually extracts um, the uh, gold and that gold dust that we were seeing and speaking about uh, just now. from a settlement where these are visuals from uh, one of uh, the shacks that we've just been inside. What you saw was uh, some of the equipment that they found, um, some of uh, the uh, tools that would be used for the extraction of uh, the gold um, into the Mozambican uh, National. And um, he seems to have his uh, documents. Um, and inside we found um, gold dust, those sacks that will usually have the balls of steel, as well as some of uh, the lights, as well as uh, a bath, which is usually used uh, to, um, you know, muddy that and extract the gold. Um, that was the uh, directions we were finding about, out about. Take <laughs> Watch behind you, just watch. Thank you. 
Thank you. 